Embarcadero Rad Studio 2010 allows you to rapidly build new touch-based GUI, tablet, touchpad, and kiosk applications. You can also easily upgrade your existing applications with little or no additional coding. Rad Studio's fully integrated touch and customizable gesturing is the only touch-enabled framework that seamlessly works with Windows 7 and older Windows platforms as well. With Rad Studio 2010, you can free your customers from their keyboards with dazzling touch-based user interfaces. I'm in the hallway outside Chris Benson's office. Chris and Seppi Bloom built the touch and gesture capabilities that are new in Rad Studio 2010. Hmm, music's pretty loud. I, I hope Chris is in there and he'll be able to hear us. Hey, Chris, are you in there? Hey, Chris, it's David I. Hi, David. What's up with the camera? I'm recording some Rad Studio sneak peeks here in R&D. Do you have a few minutes to show the new touch and gesture work you and Seppi have built? And I love the doors, but thanks for turning down the music. Oh, sure. Come on in. Why don't you tell everyone a little about the touch and gesture support that's now in Rad Studio 2010? Well, we built a touch and gesturing framework that was integrated into VCL, and we wanted to support Windows 2000, XP, Vista, and Windows 7. And we also wanted to support different uh, variety of inputs, such as the touch screen, obviously, the mouse and pen. And, and you can build any kind of application, right? Whether it's a GUI application, a tablet application, a, use the touchpad, or, or even if it's a kiosk? You don't need a keyboard. We have an on-screen keyboard that's a software keyboard, supports a variety of languages. Um, you can build anything from a kiosk to a tablet to a full-blown full, full blown, uh, desktop machine. And this is not just for new applications, right? You can use this system in your existing Delphi and C++ builder applications? Correct. We, we've made it so that you can start off your applications from scratch, and you can take existing applications and upgrade them uh, and just add the, the touch and gesturing features. Can I? Does it come with gestures, and can I create my own gestures? There's over 30 gestures that are built in, and you can create any new gestures that you that you want. So are there other gestures or anything specific about Windows 7 that we also get with Rad Studio 2010? There's a lot of support in Windows 7, uh, specifically for Windows 7. You get the all the multi-touch gestures, so you get the rotate and the panning and the zooming. And, and is there anything else special about Windows 7 support? You said it also works with other versions of Windows. Or, or maybe it's better Maybe it's better to show some things? Yeah, let me show you. So here's Fish Fact, and uh, I'm going to show, show adding gestures to this demo that we've had around for quite a while. Start by adding an action list and bringing in the database standard actions. And then we add a gesture manager. The gesture manager is kind of the, the brains of everything. It stores all the, the gesture stuff. And we go to the gesture property on the form. And we hook up the gesture manager to that. And as you can see, the gestures showed up. So we'll hook up the left gesture to the previous item and the right gesture to the next item. And go down here to the chevron left to the first item, the chevron right to the last item. And again, you did this, no lines of code. You've added gesture enablement for both mouse and, in this case, Windows 7 Touch to an existing VCL application. Correct. It was just done through actions, just added a gesture manager and hooked it up, and you can, you can hook up any of these standard gestures that we have. And we can use the mouse and it goes to the next item or the previous item, or I can use my finger to go to the next item or the previous item, or we can even do, oops, go to the last item by doing the greater than gesture, the, the chevron right or the chevron left, go to the first item. We have all these, these gestures available. These are all the standard gestures, such as circles, squares, triangles, chevrons, left and rights, and various up downs and Left, right. Can you create your own gestures as well? Yeah, you can create your own gestures. By you go to the gesture manager, and hit the create button, and let's do a let's pass. And let's just bring down the sensitivity just to make it easy to do. So once you've defined it, you give it a name, and now it's a new gesture. Yeah. So let's just give this gesture an S, 
and we can we can test this gesture out. Okay, so now we're going to handle the the gesture with the on gesture event that we've added to all key controls. And finger, if you want. Here's a, an example of a multi-touch uh, gesture-enabled application. Um, I just drop down a panel. So under the touch property, every key control has, has a few different properties. We're, in this particular case, looking for the multi-touch gestures, which are under the interactive gestures. In this case, we're going to look for the single finger horizontal pan and the vertical doesn't matter, and the inertia, and the regular pan gesture. In the on gesture event, we're going to handle the, the pan event that's just going to move the image left and right. And then when the form is created, it's just going to load some wallpapers from Windows. And so you can push your, you know, click on the, on the app, touch it, and you can slide it back and forth with the inertia. We built a virtual keyboard, um, we call it the touch keyboard, and it, it works in a lot of different languages, and it's all touchscreen enabled. And just for fun, let's align to the bottom, and then add a memo, so you can see that you get the just normal keys, you can press and release keys, you can use the shift and the caps, and it also works in other, for all the languages, so there's French with the Zerdi, and the, the different, uh, the diacritic and all GR. We also have uh, another layout for, for NumPad. So here's a, a simple multi-touch application that I happen to write for Delphi Live, and it's, you just make these little or glowing things. Thanks, Chris, for giving everyone a sneak peek at what they can do with the new touch and gesture support. It's been a lot of fun bringing touch and gesturing to Red Studio 2010. Our goal was to make it easy for developers to enable touch and gesturing on their applications. And I had a lot of fun playing with all this cool hardware. I'll let you get back to your work, Chris. Okay, thanks, David. With Rad Studio 2010, you can build touch-based GUI, tablet, touchpad, and kiosk applications with a flexible touch-enabled framework. The touch development support in Rad Studio 2010 is unique in that it seamlessly supports multiple versions of Windows, including Windows 2000, XP, Vista, and Windows 7, and works with a variety of inputs, including single and multi-touch screens, pen, and your mouse. Free your customers from their keyboards with dazzling touch-based user interfaces with Rad Studio 2010. Just one of the many ways that Rad Studio 2010 lets you go further and get there faster.